Some ants can carry as much as a hundred times their own weight. If we had to live in a world where ants were as big as we are, it would be very scary indeed. Why, one ant of that size could walk away with half the school. Eat a tree and carry an entire flock up the side of the Ganderbilt Mansion. Hmm. Eddie, save me. Did I just say? You said, oh, Eddie, Eddie. <laughs> Eddie Stockowitz, I won't have you disrupting my class like this. Why can't you just pay attention like the... Gregory, what are you doing? Oh, nothing, Miss Finch. What is that in your hand? Mm, nothing. Bring it here, Gregory. <laughs> You made this for me? It's for your desk. I hope you like it. Oh, Gregory, that is so sweet of you. Aww. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. I disrupt the class. I get yelled at. He does it. He gets a hug. What's up with that? Good morning, my peaky little guy. Eddie, your fave, sugar hoppers. They're happening, they're cool. The sugar coated grasshoppers in a complete and healthy breakfast. <laughs> Look at that box, it's gorgeous. I just had to buy it. <sighs> Listen, snap, crackle, hop. <laughs> Isn't that delightful? How droll. Has anyone seen my new golf club membership card? I'm sure it will arrive any day, Morty, dear. Eddie, what's wrong? I don't think Miss Finch likes me. That makes two of us. <sighs> oh, Feathers, of course she <laughs> likes you. Why wouldn't she? She's mad at me all the time. Edward, what did you do? I... I saved her life, that's all, from the attack of the giant ants. <clears throat> Eddie, life is not one of your movies. You've got to pay more attention to Miss Finch. She doesn't pay any attention to me. Gregory Woodpecker made this really dumb thing for her desk. <laughs> oh, isn't that sweet? Mom, whose side are you on? Oh. Speaking of making things, the Birdland Museum is looking for an artist to do a statue of our most famous citizen. Admiral Bird, first explorer to fly over the South Pole. Also, the first one to pollute the ozone layer. If my model wins the competition, I get the big job. I know you'll win, Mom. You're the best. Speaking of which, I wrote this little poem for you, woman to woman. <clears throat> My independent woman mother takes care of me and sis and brother. Gardener, gourmet cook, and artist in our family. She's the smartest. Oh, oh. That is so beautiful. I think I'm going to cry. I think I'm going to cry too. I think I'm going to barf. I had a feeling they'd invite you to compete, dear. <sighs> So I bought you this little gift to help you get started. Clay. Oh, Morty, how thoughtful. Thank you, darling. Mm -hmm. Kisses. Right back at you, baby. Hey, you! All this over a pile of mud? Ugh. Hey, Eddie. Abby seems to like it. 
Maybe you'd like some with your hoppers. <laughs> Morty, I have a surprise for you, too. You do? I found that book you loved as a little bird. The poems of Robin Louis Stevenson. I will treasure it always. Sugar hoppers? For me? Oh, you shouldn't have. Boo hoo 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 <laughs> You just don't have a clue, do you? Robin Louis Stevenson says, <clears throat> It's not the nature of the gift, but the spirit in which it is offered. <coughs> Isn't that sweet? Abby gave you a present so you wouldn't be left out. <laughs> sure, laugh, but I got a serious problem here. I like Miss Finch more than Gregory does, but now she likes him more than she likes me. Well? Find a way to show her you appreciate her. Ugh. I've got to think about <laughs> this. <laughs> I can't believe the way you were kissing up to Miss Finch. You're just jealous. <laughs> jealous? Why would I be jealous of you? Uh, let's see. Because he's taller, got a bigger beak, nicer tail feathers, and because he gave her something really sweet and you didn't. Sweet? <laughs> it's a piece of wood. No, it's a really heartfelt gift. Yeah, if she was a termite. And stop turning your head around like that. It's gross. Get used to it, Eddie. It's who I am. If I wanted to think of something for Miss Finch, I'd think of something a lot better than that. So, go for it. Think I couldn't? Hey, I did it. You're still talking about it. You know, she likes me better than you. Huh, in your dreams. Oh, yeah? You're a fool, Sir Edward. The fair lady is mine. Fill your fist, feathered foul felon. On guard! Morning, class. Good morning, Miss Finch. Eddie, you will report to Mr. Pip's office after class. Uh, yes, Miss Finch. Thank you again, Gregory. You're welcome, Miss Finch. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hello, dear. Still down in the dumps? Worse. Miss Finch is madder than ever at me. Is he starting to look like Admiral Bird? What do you think? I think I'm starving, Mom. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I completely forgot about dinner. What are we going to do? We're going to make his beak a little oh, bigger. Oh, man. He'd have a strong beak, don't you think? Ugh. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Time's up, Mr. Nuthatch. What? I can't hear you! You made excellent progress today. I did? You decided you may not need your blankie anymore. Give up blankie? My super case? My cloaking device? Not over my mother's broken beak! Hi, Dad! Hi, Mr. Nuthatch! Eddie! You saw through my cloaking device! What's up, son? Mom's not making dinner. She's too busy making Admiral Bird. Mm-hmm. Admiral Bird? I bet Admiral Bird had a blankie. I'm not hungry, but perhaps you could order yourself a pizza from Ducky Cheeses. Use my golden goose card. Dr. Stockwitz, 
because I appreciate your help so much. I want you to have my lucky necktie. Thank you, Mr. Nuthatch. This means a lot to me. He's got to be kidding. And here's a little something for you. It's a worry stone. When you're stressed out, you rub this stone and it calms you down. A rock? Not just a rock, Eddie. It could be the secret stone of that Twingo Patch Co. Look, I'm a frog. Now I'm a tree. This is truly amazing. Now I can walk through a wall. Oh! You really think it works? No, I really think your father's a little cuckoo. But let's humor him. Three toppings for a prideful one. Come on down. Hello, ducky cheeses? One large with flies, earwigs, roaches, and maggots. Uh, extra maggots. No, no, no anchovies. Yuck, how can anyone eat those things? Okay, it's Golden Goose card number 88594000. No, no, no more zeros. Storkowitz, 72 Meadowlark Lane. Hurry, bye. Why not order a great gift for that special someone? Something that makes them feel good and you look good. Got your credit card handy? <laughs> Call me here at the Shop at Home Network right now. <sighs> ooh, ooh. Oh, Eddie, this is so sweet of you. Eddie, when you grow up, will you marry me? Sure. And by the way, if you're going to be Mrs. Storkowitz, you won't be needing this anymore. Oh, Eddie. <laughs> Bo now? Bo now? There's only five units left of this fabulous item. Brian on camera one is thinking of buying two himself. Shop at home, nest work. I'd like to place an order. Good morning, class. Good, Good morning, morning Miss Finch. Today, Ms. we'll... Miss Finch! Wait! I, uh, I got this especially for you. Oh. Thank you, Eddie. It's from Birddorf Goodman. Huh? So, I guess you won't be needing this anymore. Hey! So, is that a thing of beauty or what? I don't know anymore. What do you think? It's great, Mom. Excellent, baby. And by the way, did my golf club membership card come in the mail? I didn't see it, dear. <gasps> Abby! Abby! Thanks for the constructive criticism, Abby. It's okay. Abby's right. I can't seem to get Admiral Bird's beak right. I can't seem to get anything right. What's wrong, son? First, Miss Finch didn't like me. Uh, and now all my friends hate me! Oh, brother. Why, dear? Because I gave me... Wait. I got it. They felt left out. Why not order a great gift for that special someone? Hello, Shop at Home Nest Work? I'd like to place an order. Dr. Storkovich? That's me. United Pelican Service. Shine here. Okay. They're all yours.
Tommy! <laughs> wow! Thanks, Eddie. I love bowling. Oh, Olivia? A computer? <laughs> Gregory! Drums? Oh, no way! <laughs> Spring? Um, this is for you. Eddie, you are so adorable. That's one small step for Eddie. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Sleepy! <laughs> uh, yeah, th thanks, Eddie. <laughs> What are you doing? Where did you get all these things? The, the the shop at home nest work. That's what I was afraid of. Does your father know about this? Oh. Uh, well. You have that right to remain silent. Anything you say may be held against you in a court of law. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am trying to calm down. It's not that easy. Dr. Starkowitz, you've got to get a grip. You're scaring me! These credit card bills, how could this happen? Maybe you should rub the stone for a while. Give me that. Hello, this is the doctor speaking. Dr. Storkowitz, Miss Finch here. Uh, Eddie's been acting strangely, and I was wondering if you had any ideas what that little feather ball is up to. Eddie, dear, I think there's a little problem. Really? What? Nine gazillion dollars in Golden Goose credit card bills? Yikes! <laughs> Why in the world would you do such a foolish, childish, selfish, immature, rotten thing? I just want to be liked! I just want to be sick! Miss Finch didn't like me, so I gave her a present! Then my friends got mad at me because they didn't get presents! Dad, what was I supposed to do? <laughs> Whoa! Oh. You got yourself into this mess, Eddie. Now you'll have to get yourself out. Keep it down. You're disturbing my creative space. Eddie, I think you owe Gregory an apology. Sorry you have to give back the drums, man. Not about the drums. Okay, okay. Gregory, I'm sorry. Mm, that's okay. I was so bummed that Miss Finch liked your homemade gift. I tried to show you up. I feel like a goof. Really? Then I thought the rest of you guys were mad at me because I didn't give you anything. Oh, stop the violins, ah. would you? Eddie, we don't care about the gifts. If you were trying to get us to like you more, it didn't work. You do dumb things sometimes. But we like you anyway. Yeah, yeah you're okay. You're okay. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Heads up! Ah! Look out! <laughs> Bowling's not my thing anyway. Flaming feathers! <laughs> <laughs> that, dear? I used some of your modeling clay to make this for Miss Finch's desk. You think she'll like it? Oh, that is so sweet. Please, no crying. At last, the Golden Goose credit card is back to zero. Um, not quite. I bought a new outfit yesterday for the ceremony. What ceremony? When they announced that I've been chosen to do the official Admiral Bird statue. Cool! I knew you could do it, Mom. I'm so proud of you, Lovebird. Congratulations. Whoa! Oh. 
<laughs> Still mad at me, Dad? I'm a psychiatrist, Edward. I don't get mad. Didn't seem like it yesterday. I did get a little out of control, for which I apologize. Thanks, Dad. I'm sorry, too. Look on the bright side. I spent so much money, they sent me a platinum goose card. Give me that. Dad! Dad? Dad? Oh, uh, Dad! I'm kidding! That was your new golf club membership card. Ah! Morty, my creative face! 